Hey guys, Aaron Neo here bringing you part 9 of my Town Hall 7 trophy push all the way to Masters League like a boss. So for this episode I've got three more really cool dragon rides for you guys in Crystal 1 League. And these put me over the 2500 trophy mark. So let's start here with this attack where I actually made a push on the Town Hall. Um, all four air defenses were active. And actually the one uh, closest to where I'm starting off this attack was pretty tough to reach so I decided I would zap it with lightning and just make a push directly for the town hall. Uh, I, I was able to do this because the other air defenses were all below the town hall um, and also because I kept a couple dragons on reserve as you're going to see here so that when my initial dragons cleared out the buildings in front of the town hall I could use my dragons on reserve to uh, go in and target the town hall directly from uh, where I deployed them. So that's what you're going to see here. Um, the air defenses that are still active and are uh, below the town hall are going to have an impact because they, they are close enough to where they can hit my dragons when they get uh, close to the town hall, essentially. As you just saw right there, one of my dragons just got taken out by... Uh, one of the air defenses and uh, now another one is getting targeted by another air defense but luckily I'm gonna be able to you know clear out enough buildings well I basically already have to where I can now do as I just did right there which is deploy two dragons in a perfect line with the town hall such that the town hall uh, it was the closest building to uh, where I deployed those dragons so there you see one of them was just getting immediately targeted by uh, one of the air defenses, but the other one on the right, luckily, uh, was just out of reach of that air defense and uh, were able to take out the town hall just like that. And I wanted to try and get two stars at this point, so I decided to deploy my clan castle and my barb king down below to see if I could possibly take out enough buildings, but it just wasn't going to happen. So, have to settle for one star, 40% uh, victory there, but still kind of a little different uh, sort of attack compared to what I have been doing. Um, and now let's go ahead and look at this next one here. So again, all four air defenses are active, um, but again, uh, most of them are on one side of the town hall. So I'm zapping the one closest to where I am deploying my dragons and making a push for the town hall again, but in this case, uh, it's less risky in the sense that if I don't get the town hall, there are so many buildings uh, on the side closest to where I'm deploying the dragons to take out that I should still be able to get to 50%, even if uh, things don't go in my way and I don't quite reach the town hall. So that's something to keep in mind. If there are a lot of buildings that are around the base that will be uh, relatively easy to take out, once you eliminate a single air defense, that usually uh, makes for a great target to uh, be sure that you're going to be able to reach that 50% uh, mark. And that's basically what you're seeing happen here. My dragons are clearing out uh, the buildings up to the town hall. And I do still have a couple dragons on reserve, both my clan castle dragon and another dragon. But rather than deploy both of them to go for the town hall, I am going to deploy one in the top on the top there to ensure that I get to uh, that 50% mark. Now I probably shouldn't have done that. What I probably should have done is deploy that dragon to go directly to the town hall, and uh, this other clan castle dragon that you'll see me deploy right there to go directly to the town hall. But I forgot about that Builder's Hut in the corner, so that second dragon went to the Builder's Hut because it was the closest building. Uh, if I would have deployed my Barb King and taken out that Builder's Hut, and then deployed both the dragons to go to the Town Hall, then I probably, or maybe not for sure, but I would have had a pretty good chance of getting a 2-star. So now we have another replay here, and uh, in this case, yet again, all the air defenses are active. Um, and we have one of them easily accessible, so that's what you see me going for right there, taking out the easily accessible one. And then lightning uh, zapping one of the other ones that's hard to reach. 
And that kind of clears out a side for us to make our dragon attack without the threat of the high uh, damage per second that the air defenses pose. Um, he does still obviously have the expos set to air and whatnot, but the DPS from those is much lower than, than the air defense DPS, that's for sure. So we're going to send dragons in on that side. Um, the hope when you do an attack like this is to be able to get to that two-star victory, but if you can't make it, you can't make it, and when you can clear out a whole side, there's a really good chance that you're going to be able to get to, you know, at least to that 50% mark. So I do still have um, a dragon on reserve here, and as we kind of, as my dragons kind of get taken out, I'm just kind of assessing the situation and deciding, you know, where should I deploy in order to make sure I get to that 50%. So there you see I deployed one on the right there to help ensure that I would get to that 50% mark um, because it looked like there was just too much stuff around the town hall and it would have been too risky to make a move on it with that last dragon and I probably wouldn't have gotten it. So that gets me to 48% and then I send in my Barb King to finish it off get me that 50%. So another reason it's always good to have your Barb King. You can send him in at the last minute to take out a couple buildings and make sure you hit that 50% mark for the close battles. And that does it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more awesome attacks.